set up a program. Setting up a program is really simple and it doesn't require the extra steps which are necessary in workplace or totra so you don't need to like first create your courses and then you create something completely different in a different place which requires different capabilities and different workflows and different training actually what you do and i'm going to just go back to the course page here so um, after i've created my my course using the designer format so looking at the settings you need to make sure that the designer format is selected. The only other thing that you really need to do to set this up is you need to set up the display course prerequisite settings to above course contents. You can also choose on a separate tab, but for now, let's, let's keep it above the course contents. We can ignore everything else for now. And then next step, after making sure that completion tracking is enabled, that's a requirement for the programs. We can go to course completion and select the courses that you want to include in the program. So in my case, I want to create an overview about the video classes that I have on this side. So I'm just going to create those six courses here or add them to this program. And now I've got those six here showing up. If I want to reorder them, because now they're in the inverse order, I go to edit mode and I can simply do that via drag and drop. So I can move this one to the start, this one here, that one here, fourth and fifth. And now I've got them all in order. And below you see that there's just a normal Moodle section. So the general section for the announcements, and I can of course add different activities. And as we will discuss in a following session, uh, you can then pick whatever you want from the designer section layouts like cards, lists, add other activities. So you can really combine the prerequisites with other things. For our simple example, what I will do is I will get rid of the announcements so setting announcements to zero, making the gradebook disappear. And then I'm going to remove the announcements. So this is basically the cleanest possible solution. If I turn off editing, I only see these six courses. If you want to remove the general header, that's easy with Designer 2. You just go to Edit, Edit Section, and in the Design, section, you click the hide section title. And like this, you will only have the prerequisites. So this would be the very simple setup of a course, which includes other courses. And that's what we call a program. We can add additional settings or we can configure additional settings, which are most of them, which are here. So they can choose a different prerequisites title. So I can, for example, say available video classes. And I can enter a text. I'm not going to enter a proper text. I'm just adding some lorem ipsum, a bit less. And now I want to focus on the additional options that you have here as part of the program settings. You can either enroll your students into those sub courses manually or those prerequisites courses, or um, designer can do it. Designer can automatically enroll everybody if he or she is not yet in one of those sub courses. Note that this would happen directly when the user is enrolled into the main course. So not like Totro or Moodle Workplace where this happens upon clicking on the course, but instead it happens when I'm enrolled in the main course, we have an event hook, which automatically uh, makes sure that the users are enrolled into the subcourse as well. Choose only if not enrolled, already enrolled, if you want to not enroll somebody in addition, if he or she has already enrolled himself, maybe via self-registration or maybe via an existing manual enrollment. If you want to make sure that uh, they are always enrolled by, by the program, then set it to, to always. If you want students to be automatically removed from the subcourses upon removal from the main course, you can set this to enable. 
if you want to group them in the prerequisites courses, which I personally would recommend because that way you can easily see from where a student comes into that course, you can set that to enable. Let's do that so that I can show you how it works. You can um, make prerequisite courses open a new tab, which I don't want at the moment, but you, it's easy to understand. And for our main course, we don't need this button here, but we will need that in the subcourses later. And I'm going to show you what it does. Um, in a nutshell, it adds a link in the secondary navigation back to the main course so that a student basically has an easy way to get back. So user goes to the main course, says the subcourses, opens the subcourse, and in that subcourse, there's a back to main course button, which lets the user easily navigate back to the main course. One of the big annoyances, I think, in all the other systems, um, because students get lost and don't find their way back to the program. Once I've configured that, I do see the text here. I do see that I changed the text here. And now let's add a participant. In my case, let's add student one and maybe three as students to this course. Once I've done that, I can have a look at how it looks for the student. So I'm not logged in as a student. I do see the description, the title of the video classes. I see the existing progress that that student has already um, tracked in, in the site. And now if I go to, let's say, the new interface example course, I am enrolled into that course. In order to see how I'm enrolled and how these groups work, um, I'm going to log into this course now as a teacher so that I can show you the participants list because otherwise you won't see them. So if we are in the same course, which is a sub course where the student just accessed, and you'll see that the student one, which was the user which we just used, is now in a group called Program, Webinar Program, Webinar Program 201. Uh, this is the one which I set up originally to create the screenshots and stuff like that. This is the one which we used tomorrow, uh, this morning in the German session, and this is the one which we're currently using, so the Webinar Program 201. So the student has immediately been enrolled into this course and put into the group so that you can either assign a teacher which is like in the sub course, uh, which is only in charge of that specific cohort, or maybe provide different contents in the sub courses depending on for which program. So you have a lot of options here because you have a program and you have a group which is automatically created. If you don't need that, you can simply turn off the, the feature and then you're good to go. The other thing that I wanted to show you is how to group um, courses. Um, so let's assume we want to add more courses or maybe you want to indicate an order. So while it doesn't really matter from, from a program or from designer perspective in which order uh, students do these courses, it might still look nicer if you first show these three courses and then show these three courses. So let's create that. I'm going to click on more and then the prerequisites groups option. And first I'm going to create a group. So let's call these basic examples. And I'm going to pick one, two, three. I could add a description. But I don't want to do that. And let's say I've got an advanced features group and pick this here. So I've got two groups here. And if I go back to the course, I now see that I've got a basic examples and an advanced features group. Same thing, if I want to group them, I can uh, I order them, sorry can order them like so, just by drag and drop. And now you have first these three courses, then these three courses. From a completion point of view, it doesn't matter whether you first do that and then that or in whichever order. Uh, it's just a matter of presentation, displaying the courses really.